Welcome back. Problem 5-28. So statement is the assembly consists of solid rod A, B, tube B, C and lever arm. If torque T of 20 kilo kips into inch is applied to the rod and couple force of 5 kips are applied to the lever arm, determine the required diameter for the rod and outer and inner diameter of the tube. If the ratio of inner diameter to the outer diameter is 0 0.75, the rod and tubes are made of material having allowable sharing stresses 12 ksi so this is rod a b this is tube b c and this is the lever arm a torque of uh, a torque t of 20 kips into inch is applied to this rod and a couple forces p is applied to this lever arm so you have to find this diameter of rod a b and inner r and outer diameter of rod b c so let's start with the solution. So first we will find it for rod, for rod AB. So for rod AB we know that allowable sharing stress or maximum sharing stress is equal to torque AB into uh, C of AB which is the radius divided by JAB. JAB is the polar moment of inertia of this rod. So first we will find the torque. So if you cut the rod over here and draw the free body diagram. So it will be like this. Okay. So there is axis. And the torque given as T is 20 kips. So definitely this is point A, this is point B. So definitely in order to counter balance it, so we have TAB. So TAB from equilibrium condition, TAB is uh, counterclockwise and this is clockwise. So TAB is equal to T and that is equal to 20 kips into inch. What is CAB? So CAB is diameter of AB and that is equal to DAB divided by 2. J for this solid shaft is JAB is equal to pi by 30, pi by 2 CAB power 4. And that is equal to pi by 2 DAB divided by 2 whole power 4 which is equal to pi by 32 times DAB 4. Now you have this, you have this, you have this. You can just put it in the formula which is ta allowable is equal to TAB into CAB divided by JAB. Ta allowable is 12 KSI, TAB is 20 K CAB is DAB over 2 and JAB is pi by 32 DAB 4 so from if you simplify it it will be 12 is equal to 20 multiply by DAB we will cut with one of this so we will left here below DAB cube multiply by pi and 2 and this will be 16 so 16 and here we left with 1 and we will get 12 is equal to 20 multiplied by 16 divided by pi into DAB cube. So we are interested to find out DAB. So DAB whole cube is equal to 20 multiplied by 16 divided by pi multiply by 12 and if you take the cubic root of this using calculator scientific calculator so you will get DAB is equal to 2.04 inch so this is diameter of rod now we will find the inner and outer diameter of the tube so we will find for tube for tube we know that allowable sharing stress for tube is equal to tbc torque in tube 
into CBC which is the outer radius divided by JBC so for CBC if you cut the beam over here uh, sorry not beam tube over here so for finding the net torque in BC so you have to cut it over here so you can see one torque is this T which is clockwise the second torque is due to P into perpendicular distance from the center is 12P and the another one is also 12P all these are producing clockwise torque so our net torque should be anti-clockwise it should be anti-clockwise so this is TBC so TBC in order to keep it in equilibrium TBC is equal to this torque T plus 12 into P plus 12 into P so T is 20 kips uh, into uh, 20 kips into inch 12 into P P is 5 so 60 plus 60 which is equal to 140 kips into inch so TBC is TBC is equal to 140 kips into inch CBC C is the outer distance from center so that is D outer divided by 2 clear and what is JBC so JBC for polar moment of inertia for this hollow rod JBC is equal to pi by 2 C outer C outer is D naught over 2 whole power 4 minus C inner so which is D inner divided by 2 power 4 also it is given that di over d naught is equal to 0 0.75 that is given in the question you can see over here so d inner will be equal to 0 0.75 times d naught okay so what we will do is that j b c is equal to pi by 2 into d naught power 4 over 16 minus d i is replaced with 0 0.75 times d naught divided by 2 whole power 4 so if you further simplify it pi by 2 into d naught 4 over 16 minus 0 0.75 times d naught power 4 over 16 and when you solve this you will get 0 0.06711 d naught power 4 now you have this value this value and this value so you can just put it in this formula tbc into cbc divided by jbc so t allowable is 12 ksi tbc is 140 cbc is d naught divided by 2 clear and jbc is 0 0.06711 d naught power 4 so we will get 140 into d naught divided by 2 multiply by 0 0.06711 d naught power 4 so d naught will cut with this so we will left with d cube okay so 12 is equal to 140 divided by 2 multiplied by 0 0.06711 d cube and d cube will d d naught cube so d naught cube will be equal to 140 divided by 2 multiplied by 0 0.06711 and we will take the cubic root on both side so we will left with d naught is equal to 4.430 inch which is the outer diameter of this tube now we have d i over d naught is equal to 0 0.75 so d i is equal to 0 0.75 times d outer so 0 0.75 multiplied by d outer is 4.430 
so when you multiply it you will get inner diameter which is 3.322 inch so this is the inner diameter and outer diameter of this uh, tube and that was all about this problem 5-28 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching